guys! So today I thought I would share with you my speed cleaning routine. So that's why I kind of look like this. I don't have any makeup on, my hair's up, and I'm ready to clean. Last weekend I cleaned my apartment quite thoroughly, so I don't feel like today I need to do a really, really thorough job. I just want to tidy everything up and give everything a once over. So my plan is to get all my cleaning done within the hour and I do have a cleaning checklist which I've actually made a video all about so I will link that down below if you're interested to see what's on my checklist. But I'm basically going to go through room by room, spend about 10 minutes on each room and I hope this inspires you or maybe motivates you to get cleaning as well. So let's do it! So I normally begin my cleaning in the lounge room. I like to kind of just tidy everything up, put the blankets and pillows away, and then I begin by dusting everything. So I'll just grab my little duster and just kind of give everything a once over. I normally do the coffee table, the TV unit and around the TV, our little bookshelf, and then I also will do the plants, basically anything that collects dust. And then once I've finished dusting, I will then move on to clearing all the surfaces and spraying and wiping everything. So I focus on the dining table, usually needs a really good wipe down, and then I also will clean the coffee table. I will then move on to the kitchen and when I'm in the kitchen, before I start cleaning, I like to clear all the surfaces, put any washing up away or any food that's been left out just so that everything is nice and clear before I can start cleaning. So I will tidy everything up and then I will begin by cleaning the bench tops. So I'll just give it a really good spray and wipe, make sure to clean around the sink and the tap and then I'll also give the sink a quick rinse. Once I'm finished with the sink, I'll then move on to cleaning the appliances. So I'll just give them a quick wipe and get rid of any marks. And then once that's done, I will put everything away and start cleaning the backsplash. I also like to clean the stove top, so I normally do this after each use because it does get quite dirty, but when I am doing my cleaning routine, I will either clean it with some stainless steel cleaner just to give it a once over, or if I'm cleaning thoroughly, I usually will grab a sponge and scrub it properly. But today for my quick cleaning, I just give it a once over just to kind of get any marks off and make it all nice and beautiful and shiny. I will also clean the outside of our fridge with the stainless steel cleaner and also give the outside of our microwave a wipe and then I'll also just clean the inside of the microwave just really quickly just to give, give it a once over and get rid of any food or stains that might be in there. And then finally I will wipe down the outside of the cupboards in the kitchen. I just like to get rid of any finger marks. And then once I have done that, I will move on to cleaning the bathroom. Firstly, I'll apply a toilet cleaner to the bowl of the toilet and then I will go ahead and clean the outside of the toilet. So I just use some paper towel and some spray and wipe and yeah, just give it a really good once over. I'm um, trying to make it as quick as possible, but just also making sure I get everything and make sure it's nice and clean. Then I will move on to cleaning the basin. So I'll move everything off the surface and give it a really good spray and wipe and just make sure to wipe 
behind the sink and the drawers, just kind of getting rid of any stains. And then I'll also clean the mirror. So I use a glass cleaner to do this. And I also like to use that to clean the tap. And then I will move on to the sink. So I grab a sponge and just give it a really good scrub just to get rid of any toothpaste stains. Finally, I will just wipe everything down with a paper towel and just make sure everything is nice and dry before I put everything back. Then I will move on to the shower, so I will wipe it down with a glass cleaner and a paper towel and I just like to give this a really quick wipe down on both sides. And then lastly is my least favourite part and that is just scrubbing the toilet. So I just get my toilet brush and just scrub the whole toilet bowl as thoroughly as possible and then I will flush it and let the brush sit and dry. Next I'll move on to the bedroom and I find the bedroom really easy to clean just because it's a pretty small room and we do keep it quite tidy so I will just make the bed or straighten up the bed and just put anything away that's not in its spot just kind of clear everything so that it's ready to be cleaned. Once the room's all clean, I will then move on to vacuuming the floor and I like to do this because it's usually at the end of my cleaning routine and there's nothing better than a nice clean floor in your house. So I will vacuum the bedroom and then once I'm done with that, I'll move on to the rest of the house. And then the very last thing I will do is clean the floors in my kitchen and bathroom. So because this is my speed cleaning routine, I'll just grab a floor wipe and give the floors a really quick once over just to get rid of any stains or anything on the floor. And then once I've done that, I am done. So there we go guys, I'm all done. It took me under an hour and that is my complete speed cleaning routine. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it motivates you to get cleaning as well. And if you did enjoy it, let me know, give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Bye.